hi guys so welcome back and um, it's been probably like a month since i did my last video because i'm really lazy um but today it's a video on using all some mostly revolution makeup um so like the foundation concealer eyeshadow it's pretty much it but yeah um, and this is the finished look, so if you did want to um, see how I achieved this with all the Revolution products, so foundation, concealer, yeah, carry on watching. Camera's being clicky. It's not clicking anymore. Um, I'm doing a video on a full face of Revolution um, makeup products. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I have tried the eyeshadows and concealer, and I love them. So I wanted to do a full face. I wanted to see how well it would cover my skin. Um, because <clears throat> I've seen a couple of videos, and yeah, it looked really good. So I wanted to try it out. And see if I could cover up this because I think I have quite a good routine with my foundation and stuff at the moment. I use the Huda Beauty usually, um, so it'd be nice to try something different, it's a lot cheaper as well. I'm just going to moisturize my face like I always do, um, so I'm just using a Nivea one. I think I'm going to go straight in with the eyes because I'm going to do something a little bit heavier so it's not, this camera's bugging me it won't focus properly, it's the Canon G7X and I know that people have a lot of issues with the focus on them but it's really bugging me so if you have any tips maybe I need to go out a bit more I don't want to show you my messy room though. Is that okay? Oh, we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do the eyes. I literally have recorded this video and I have no idea what kind of look I wanna go for. So I'm just gonna have a quick look now. Oh, guys, I'm not gonna use it. I can't open it. Okay, I really wanna use that orangey shade there. I think I'm going to go in with that first and then see. Focus! <laughs> I'm going to try using this um, as like a primer for my lids. Just using like a fluffy brush. Maybe I should zoom you guys in for the eyes. That'd be a good idea. Don't even show you which one it is. Is is the um, Revolution Conceal and Define? Like pretty much everyone's tried it now. It's really really good. I'm going to go in with this orangey shade. shade here back in with the orange uh, this deep deep purpley shade there Gonna test out the black. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay, so I went and did my brows off camera just to speed things up a bit. I'm looking a bit crazy right now. I think I'm gonna wipe away all of this cause some fallout and then try the foundation 
course I'm going to zoom you back out. So let's try the foundation. I'm not excited. This is the Conceal and Define foundation in um, F8.5. Smells like um, Mac Studio Fix. Is that just me? I'm not a fan of this. <laughs> what that noise? <laughs> oh my god. Um. <laughs> That's not going to get old. Um. I know as soon as I blend this in, it's going to be too light for me. But oh, I'm not going to go in with a different foundation because that defeats the object of this. I'm just thinking. Ah, let's give it a go. So I'm just going to use a. Um, this is a real tip. Neek's Miracle Sponge, so let's give it a go and grab my mirror. Oh, that coverage is nice. Even with a sponge, I usually find I get better coverage with a brush, but yeah, definitely too pale though. It's okay. <laughs> Why is it making that noise? Oh, that's so open. <laughs> oh my god. A bit more. Okay, if I do it slowly, it's okay. This camera. Oh, that's really too pale. <laughs> oh. I don't know what I'm going to do. I want it to be like really fair. And not go in with another foundation, but I can't deal with this right now. I look like a ghost. Mm. I reckon the concealers are going to actually be darker than this foundation. Let's give it a go. This is in C5. Yeah. yeah. Oh lord, what have I done? One thing that I don't like about these are they are cheap, but that's because you get barely anything in them. So like the foundation, nine pound and you get 23 mil. I usually go for um, the Maybelline Fit Me foundation if I'm looking for something cheap. And that's like eight pound and you get the full 30 mil. So like that's where they're kind of, not, I don't want to say con in, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> but making it seem cheaper than what it actually is, maybe. So that's not helped at all. Like the coverage is really good, but I just, I uh, look uh, so bad right now. Too pale. I did get as well. The uh, Revolution Pro HD 
camouflage conceal, pa conceal, <laughs> conceal palette. Um, I keep catching myself in the, what's it called? You know, I keep catching my own reflection and it's not good guys. <laughs> Yeah, so I've got it in light, and again, it looked a lot darker online. Like these shades here looked really like warm, but it's quite cool and it's quite greasy. So it's like a really light pinky undertone one. So I'm gonna try that for the eyes. And then the yellowy one. I suppose I'll try that round here. Try and counteract the redness from my spots. Like this. I don't know what I was doing with it. It's a load of rubbish. Let's just blend it all out anyway. Oh, I'm so pale. <laughs> I'm like as white as my teeth. Do you know what? I'm gonna have to give in and use something else. So, L'Oreal Infallible um, Longwear Shaping Stick in Toffee Caramel. So I'm just gonna use this to contour. That camouflage kit I was meant to use for contour and it turned out to just be a load of concealers that looked exactly the same and they were too light anyway. So, can't use that. I'm gonna have to put loads of this on just to deepen my skin a bit. Let's try that. <laughs> I look like I'm doing something for Halloween. Okay, that's a that's a lot better. I'm quite happy with that. I've got this um Revolution Luxury powder, it's literally exactly like the Ben Nye banana powder. Um I've used it before and it is quite good. Whilst it's doing that, I think I'm going to pop some lashes on. So, oh, powder all over me. I'm using the Tatty Lashes in um, TL31. So, I'm just going to quickly glue these on and I'll be back. Lashes are on, there's a really annoying little bit here, but that's okay. So, I'm gonna dust all this off now. Skin's looking pretty good. I don't have a revolution bronzer or blusher or anything like that this camera i am going to lose it oh. you're in a bit more maybe that'll help yeah i don't have a bronzer or blusher or anything so no it's still not helping oh. guys help 
Since I move back now, stay. I'm going to try and use this brown. Or should I use a cool one? Maybe the cool, yeah, that brown there. Let's see how it goes. Okay, no, it does make it look really muddy. Okay, scrap that idea. I'm going to do the under eyes really quickly. So literally just the same colours that we used on the top. Yeah, the only highlighter I've got is this one from Revolution. I'm not a massive fan, but I'm going to use it anyway because I've cheated too many times so far. So I'm going to use this highlighter fan brush. going to quickly run over my brows again because as you can see they've got like loads of powder and it's not good and now it's just lips which did have a revolution lipstick but um i lost it so again cheating but I'm going to go in with this metallic, matte me metallic lip cream, I think it's from Sleek. And then go over the top of that with NYX creme brulee gloss. So I did actually buy the, I usually use the NYX um, Dewy setting spray, but I thought I will try the Revolution one, and this is the Hydrating and Plumping Makeup Fixing Spray. I only bought it because it said plumping, and it's leaking. Okay, it's just leaked all over me, but... I've literally just drenched my face. I'm gonna try. I forgot to do bottom lashes. I knew it was missing something. And I think we have a finished look. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. The eyeshadow's decent. Foundation, I think it would have been really good if it was like my actual colour. 
but it just made me look like Casper the Ghost. So yeah, maybe um, when you're looking online to buy the foundation, if you are, um, they look darker than what they actually are. So maybe get one shade darker than what you think you might be. Um, but other than that, you can't really argue for the price. So yeah, it's covered my um. It's covered my spot as well. I don't know if zooming in would be better. There we go. That's a nice glowy finish. Mm. I like it. yeah that's the finished look um i hate saying all this stuff at the end so i'm not gonna say it i just hope you enjoyed the video um yeah that's it bye